Hello, everyone. My name is Web Weaver, and it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It's look. It's Tuesday. Gloomwood will be out later. But for now, in the present moment, which is going to be time capsuled into the future, and will exist, have existed in the past, but it is the present moment being captured in this video to then be relegated in the past as a record that you can view in the future as a hopefully something that's entertaining. We're here. Now, we did Mizuki and Miku in the last episode. And let me just tell you, when I was editing that thing, I wanted to use, because Adobe After Effects, we're going to do a little Koji run. I wanted to use the, there's, there's some sort of feature for like tracking motion in Adobe After Effects. And it's really good for when you want to stick like a character's head on another character's head. You know, that sounds rather gruesome, but we're talking about PNGs here. So it's not really that big of a deal. Ooh, I think we're going to roll with this. I think we're going to roll with Seventh Curse. So I wanted to try to use it, but I actually forgot what the setting was called because it's been like a long time since I had last, holy yoga thing, since I had last done it. And the thing about it that was kind of crazy is I spent more time trying and failing on my own to figure it out. And then I went into YouTube to try to find videos for automated motion tracking and I couldn't f find out because all the videos, you know, all the ones that were like a minute long were completely useless and the one that was like 18 minutes long, I didn't want to watch. So I just ended up doing them manually and they, the, the head movements don't look very good. I'm not really a big fan of the head movements, but uh, it's fine, just for like a little one-off gag. But uh, I really, I really wish I figured out how to do it because, or I really wish I figured it out because it's Madasu Touch. That is exactly what I wanted. That is exactly why I used the library notes. Like, oh, Madasu Touch would go kind of hard here. So true. But yeah, no, it's one of those things where you can think about doing something manually and in a way that, like, because here's the thing, if I knew how to do it, if I remembered how to do it correctly, then I could just set it up and then just let it do auto keyframes and then it would have been, I, I, like, track the auto keyframes with the pin. It would have been quick and it would have been easy. But because I didn't remember how to do it and I just was like, I should probably try to remember how to do it, uh, it just ended up being a massive pain in the ass, and it wasn't really worth it in the end because I just ended up being fed up. And if I did it manually by hand, then I would have been able to... If I ended up... If I did it from the beginning manually by hand, then I could have made it look a lot better. It's just one of those, like, annoying things. Like, you accidentally trap yourself into doing something, like... You, you trap yourself into looking for a solution to something that you don't mind doing manually, and then you end up in a situation where you just kind of... You're just wasting your time. I also wish that my computer didn't lag horribly whenever I tried to do anything in any Adobe program, but, you know, it is what it is. Bulletin. So we have painting... And I'm just kind of mapping this out in my head on how I want to do this. I think we start bullet and go into painting. I don't know if I'll buy a light source, though, unless it's the HDF. Because if it's the HDF, you know, then I don't really, I don't really care, right? But the thing is, I kind of want, like, yeah, let, let's buy the HDF if it's there. Because I, I don't know if I want to go for the chainsaw, though. Like, the problem is I might just want to buy something immediately. But I would have preferred to buy something that was, you know, like a little less expensive. Because the, the sad part about this Koji build, obviously, is that we spent all of our cursed money on a weapon. And so now we're here. And it's like, well, that kind of sucks, right? I would, like to, I would like to use it more often. Eh, sure. 
It really is. It's look who it is. That's crazy. We do need to go to the forest twice because this is bulletin board, so we're gonna have to do that at some point, and we might even have to brute force it. We're not gonna have to... Uh... Me when I'm stupid. Now, unfortunately, the thing with Yogathag is there used to be an exploit with how Yogathag worked, and so you could re-roll events for free because going to the police station didn't cost Doom. But the thing is, and so they added a penalty to where if you use the police station more than once, then you get that extra doom. That It wasn't even extra doom. It was just doom, and it was only on Yogathag. Now that the police station is incredibly strong, and it's one of the best locations in the game, you actually use it for its effect, and that effect, there is a an entry cost, right? And so one of the sad things about it is, and we are going to just go full money build here. I don't think we, did we have sailors? Oh God, I don't care. We're we're going full money build. I we're full money playing, gaming over here. We're we're throwing our wealth around. We're flaunting our wealth. We're going in. We're developing the film role, which has cru crucial evidence, and then. I mean, it's really given us, like, no opportunities to, with value, investigate the forest. There we go. Thank you. Yogathag, the life coach, heard I was talking crap and was like, it's so Joe over for you. You're going to the forest and now you're by done because your strength stat is bad. And honestly, I don't care how good of a strength stat you have. If, you're, if you roll a 12 plus 1, you ain't beating that. So this is our first enemy, and we're, like, listen, you might think that things aren't going too hot right now, but you have to realize we are level, like, we are on the first mystery without ill-fated, and we are almost level two, and we haven't even beat the mystery yet. We're very far ahead EXP-wise. It feels very good, and I think... The problem is, like, I kind of just want to run away. Like, here's what I want to do. I want to run away. And then... I'm going to go to the forest because we need to investigate it twice. And I don't remember what the ending... Second enemy, Leech Girl. Hello, dog. I don't remember what the enemy is called. Or, not the enemy is called, sorry. The text on the top of the screen that indicates you are on the last investigation. I have I do not have that committed to memory like I do with something like Sailors or, you know, one of the mysteries that requires you to, like, discard items or something like that. So, alright, the dog's trying to get down from the chair. Give me one second here. Because she's always very awkward about getting off of the chair, and so I'm just gonna place her down on the floor, and she can skedaddle on her own. She's pretty, like, I don't know what it is. Maybe she's just getting on in the years. Because, well, actually, no, that's not true. Her breed of dog is not supposed to, like, do a lot of jumping. It's not what they're, it's not what they're built for. So, she has a little, she has a little, uh, like, step. Like, dog step staircase thing. To get, like, up and down where she usually goes. It, that is elevated, but she doesn't have one for the chair because it rolls around. So I should probably just get like a like a footstool or something, but like a, a cushioned one that's big enough for her to lie down on. Because that's basically what I use for this old hunk of junk chair is just as a footstool. Uh, like the problem with this is that if one of these misses, we're in absolute remiss, right? So you want to bank it on the 70% and 60%? There's no way she barks, right? It's so late at night. There's nobody outside. <laughs> oh, she's going up to the window. Oh, she's going up to the window. Oh, no concept of a noise complaint. No concept of being evicted or kicked out from a from a living space. I envy. I, I envy her. Here's the thing. If this succeeds, we're bawling, right? Like, if this succeeds, we are unimaginably happy. We're unimaginably happy. So as long as 170% or 60% hits, I mean, we gotta take it. Like, if it works, we're unimaginably happy. It's so good for us. We are so here. We are so bad. She just jumped back on the chair. 
It's not the jumping up that's the bad part, by the way. It's the jumping down, at least how I understand it. But I mean, jumping up is still, like, not great for the hind legs, I guess. But uh, it's more like, I think it's more like the impact of jumping down that is the... Oh, well, they're both probably pretty bad, but I don't know. The vet just said limit how many times she jumps in a day. And so the chair is the only thing that she actually has to get to and from for. Right, she's got a little step stool for everything else. Anyways, enough dog lore. Enough dog lore. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the end of this mystery. That's a little trickery, even. And we're gonna go into the portal... We're gonna get to the bleeding desert, we're gonna get four funds, and we're gonna be so happy. Aw, oh, shit. I'll take the doom. I'll take the doom. Oh, you, you, you peace, actually, though. And it, it really is, like, the more I think about Yoga Thag and the sort of, like, band-aids that had to be applied to fix, like, Yoga Thag exploits... It makes me very happy to think about that because it's really funny, <laughs> right? Like how things have gotten reworked over the years. So we get into the point of like, just you see these silly things happen where it's like the police station used to be free to go into and its effect used to be pretty vague to the point where like, I don't really know anybody who would... Uh, we're almost out of the mystery. Just just bear with it. I don't want to... Like, you'd have to swap it around so you'd do 2% Doom guaranteed. But it's actually worse than 2% Doom because it's more like 4% Doom because of Yoga Thag. It is it is what it is. Like, just tough it out. You're, you'll be fine. But I, I really do like seeing funny bandage stuff like that. Because a, a normal player who just bought the game on, like, launch, right? They're not really going to understand the the history behind the police station, right? They're not going to be like, huh, I wonder, like, I, I wonder why there's a doom penalty for going into the police station on Yogathag alongside the normal doom penalty with the police station, like, it, or the normal doom cost, right? It's because the police station didn't used to have a doom cost and it's been reworked multiple times. Right, like, I remember when it was, like, what was it? You could... It, what was it again? It was, like, combat, right? It had something to do with combat. And then nobody ever used it because I, I don't really know if anybody was like, yeah, there's, an, there's a definitive effect there or not. And it just felt so weird, you know? Ugh. All right, we can make up for Blood Moon if we level up pretty quick. If we level up pretty quick... It is what it is. Moonlit. Oh, we do have sailors. I really am dumb. Can you discard the film roll? Oh, you can. Okay. So that'll, uh... Oh, I absolutely know what we can do. But I want to sell things. Yeah, let's go Peculiar Painting. We've got the... There's no village here, and we have the police station on the forest. So the mansion's not doomed. We can feel pretty happy about that. We really should have been using, we really should have been using Midasu Touch because there's no, well, here's the thing. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to keep using the film roll. Do we want to strategically, like, not right now? No, if we get Jar of Blood again, I'll take the Doom. I think that honestly might be better because, like, 5 Doom and 20 EXP is, like, pretty decent. Sure, we have seven knowledge. You, you've got to roll the dice when they're, I mean, not really favorable for you, but like, you know, you know, like when they're at least uh, something or other. This, you always have to do this because being able to skip one combat and get minus four doom is just like overwhelmingly good. Like the penalty is 2% doom. The reward is so incredible. Uh, there's no reason not to do this. We don't have any money, so it doesn't matter. Koji goes to the store, he gets free stuff. I think somebody called that stealing once, but, uh, you know, it does say minus two funds. Maybe he just, you know, maybe it was somebody else's minus two funds. The Kurakosa mask is a great contribution to the film roll fund. Now, I don't know how, um... I mean, we did, we do be developing the film roll containing crucial evidence, though, but, you know, who knows... 
me and here's the thing depending on what this is we could sell it <laughs> but i'd rather take the minus doom minus doom is really good minus doom is really good you have to take it when you have it yo bill billeth mazeth no way my guy my homie the man the myth the legend hold on we gotta pay our respects you know 2% Doom's kind of nasty, but it is it's, it, it is what it is. I kind of want to keep the flashlight. Like, we do need to discard two items. Like, that is a thing that exists that needs to happen. I'm just trying to think. Time skip's kind of nasty. 56% Doom Mystery 2. Eh, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. We cannot discard the Curious Statuette. We cannot sell the Curious Statuette. So there's, like, if it is for the purpose of lighthouse there is no point because we're never gonna have four items that we need on hand and that we're never gonna have five items that we need in our inventory at all times so the curious statuette we're not playing toshiaki right that's what i mean so it might make more sense to pivot into leadership but i don't know if i am going to put two points into charisma however we have a schoolyard to potentially gain some stats at so I think that's what we might want to go ahead and do I think I'll just go ahead and take the the exp now I think I want to do sailors now just so that we can like stop worrying about it and the torch is also a, a light source but we can't guarantee we're on timeline B you know so I guess we'll just we'll just go ahead now I'm still gonna get rid of the flashlight, I think. Like, we could do this last and then get rid of the film note, the the film note, the film roll, but I think it's probably fine. Honestly, I might want to get rid of, because we have, we're not going to the mansion again. So we're actually gonna get rid of the sewing kit and then we're gonna go here and then we're gonna get like just some random ass thing. And then we're gonna discard that book. And we did get a torch, so listen, if you're on timeline B, if you know you're on timeline B, you discard the flashlight because you know that you won't need it because the torch is a light source. But this does give us a little bit of flexibility. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's pretty borderline. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like entirely cool with what we did, what we did there, but. It's probably fine. Just use the monument a couple times. I think I'm not taking the doom, but I will. Listen, it would be very, very unlucky to get Jar of Blood again in this mystery. Now, how do we pass the time here? Uh, I don't think we do. I think we just go. I, I Yoga Thag is getting furious. It's, it's fine. That's fine. Now, we're looking a little, it's looking a little sketchy right now, but... We're closer to leveling up than you might think. We have some emergency. Oh, the seaside is dangerous. That's actually kind of a, a throw on my part because we're going to have to reroll this here. So, yeah, this dialogue, you won't cheat Yogi Thag that easily. That was added back when the police station was free and you actually were cheating him because you could just go to the police station over and over and over again to keep rerolling the Yogi Thag. So... That's uh that was a legitimate thing. That's uh ooh, we got we got a spell, we can we got a spell, we got a spell, we got a spell. We can we can forgore the spell. It's still a dangerous area though, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you get a bad event. Now, the good thing is the good thing the hell I clicked twice. The good thing is well, I mean, this is not actually a good thing. But we have Akamanto in the back pocket, right? So, oh god, we're never going to the village again. We're never going to the mansion again. I don't really care about these things. Reporter's bag, whatever. Apparently, fast hands, one of the Koji perks, has a ha, is really useful because it can get like really good items or whatever. And it also is bugged, so you can like swap a high damage weapon for a fast weapon and then do the high damage weapon with the fast weapon's attacks or whatever. I don't remember if it's vice versa or not. I, I, did, I did the bug once. Uh, apparently it's still a thing. I still wouldn't really recommend it. Unless you want to like switch damage types. So you could go to like a torch or something. I don't know. 
The how combat works in this game is janky. I don't think anybody's ever like fully like seen how the interactions with fast hands work because it's just a buggy perk. It's it's good though. Apparently like you get fast hands, you go to Burning Man or like uh Oh goodness, what's her name? The the nurse. The nurse? Oh jeez. I can't believe I'm forgetting one of our friends. I do apologize. I think knowledge is just generally better, and we can get our final point of strength. Now, admittedly, if we got rid of our weapon, the strength would be 8 already, but... We're, we're feeling pretty, pretty solid about that. I will take the healing now, though. Now, the problem is, if we do mermaids last then we have a debuff to worry about. So what I'm thinking is we go ahead and here's the thing, I don't wanna deal with Jar of Blood for the entirety of this mystery. So we're selling, we're going to Morbid Mermaids and we're hoping that we do not come across it. Now this, because we're saving, this is actually something that I don't think about on uh, You'll Get Back very much, is we are in an instance where you can just lose the game because of this, you know? We can, we can just lose the game because Homeboy decided. Ah, you know what? My mistake. <laughs> Probably should have just progressed with the mystery, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we do want to develop a little film role as a treat. There's no point in having... Like, we, we've gone over the money meta before. You can only lose money from random events in intervals of two. So there's no point in having... Like, the difference between having one fund and two funds for the purposes of random events, there is no difference. Because you can't go into debt. So if you need to be... If you're trying to dodge Jar of Blood, which we currently are, thank God for that, uh, you want to be at one fund. Or three funds. Three plus funds. Oh, hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. A free roll of the film variety? Absolutely. We're going into the boss fight here. That's fine. We didn't rest, so we get tireless. This is huge. Like, yeah, so you either want to be at one fund or three plus funds. If you're not, if you're not buying anything and you're just trying to j dodge Jar of Blood, that's exactly what you want to do. Notice his face? Absolutely not. And we're just going to take the burn. I should have saved one fund because, I mean, we actually didn't level up again. That's kind of, that kind of sucks. But the thing is, and we're not going to take the EXP here. We're going to take the stamina. Hmm. I, why did I click that button? Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. We're going into Akamanto. I, I, listen. I'm looking at this. It's not looking too grand. We are going to keep burn because we need to optimize our movement here, which means that if we get into a fight, it's going to be pretty bad. But you know what? That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Now, we're going to have to get rid of the torch because we need to kill her in one turn. Now, I don't even know if we're going to be able to do this. Um... <laughs> Because, well, you know, it's a little bad. She's not weak to blunt, is she? I think it, Actually, she might be. We're, we're going to wall wiki it because I, I've paid my dues in this game. I, I'm, an old, I'm an old man when it comes to World of Horror. I, I can use the wiki to remind me when I forgore something. She is weak to blunt. So we're going to take advantage of that. And we are going to uh, just win the fight simply. Now, the box cutter, we only... We have matching perception and, uh, whatchamacallit, strength. So we'll use the box cutter on Akamanto. That actually sounds pretty cool. Um, I don't really... Like, fast hands is only really good if we somehow run into a hospital enemy or a sea... <laughs> it's a seaside enemy, right? The Burning Man? So I think I'll just take Improvise. And plus two stamina because we are on the Akamanto floor. And it's look who it is. So now we go here to get the burn taken care of. Because it is non-negotiable. We need to get the burn taken care of. But we needed to wait for Yagathang to block the way. Because again... <sighs> Hmm. 
That was like super inconvenient. I'm not gonna use the film roll anymore. I don't really care. Oh no, it's over. It's Joe over. It's we're by done. We're gonna get hit by Akamanto's by den blast. Uh, we are never coming back here again. Get me the hell out of here. Supposedly another body's been found. No way. No way. This is actually. I mean, this is 30 exp. I almost want to like. No. Do I want to use this? Like, we're not using a. The camera could be kind of clutch, though. But this could also be kind of clutch. Like, what is this? Like, camera's like 50%. This is like 40% chance or something. Camera's a dodge, though, and we have to commit time actions to it. Ritual Mask is passive. Kind of a tough sell, honestly. Oh, that's kind of a nasty one, to be honest with you. Can we... Okay, hold on. Can we rest? Do we have... Do we have, do we have fetid fumes? Do we have fetid fumes? Oh, we don't have... We don't have fetid fumes. So, and we're not in Gazoo. Go up to 90% Doom, probably like 92, we get 82 in the end, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Check that out. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Now, we also have some decent... Okay, we... It, well, I'm still equipping the Monkey Wrench in case, like, you know, we get into a fight before Akamanto. Now we're going to equip the Box Cutter, because this weapon's much better. Uh, I mean, I I think that the thing is, like, what's the accuracy of this weapon, right? So we have a chance to hit of a pretty, pretty bad 110, and then Akamanto's gonna have, like, what, like, 40? So I feel like a, we're gonna be in a fight for... Listen, we don't want to be in a fight for very long, but we might need to use the camera, I think if we're relying on the Ritual Mask, it's actually just over. You know what I mean? And is there any way that we can... No, no, we have Improvise, right? Okay, we, we can pretty reliably kill Akamanto with Improvise and multiple things to throw. That's completely fine. We might throw the camera. We don't need it for any stat checks in the lighthouse. And we don't need it for our weapon. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so bad. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we're just we're we're throwing the arsenal. Jesus Christ, that's really strong. Honestly, using a Midasu touch to get below lethal and then send them. Problem is though, we don't know if there's a dexterity check. So we want to kind of like not die here. So, I mean, just throw the camera too, I guess. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can we do this? Oh my god. All right. The, honestly, the improvised gambit. I I knew I took, <laughs> I knew I took that perk for a reason. God bless. Um, okay, so the most that we can take is minus five and minus three. So it doesn't really matter. We cannot get whatchamacallit in the lighthouse, jar of blood in the lighthouse, because it's all predetermined events. So. But also, there's no point in using the EXP either, because... Oh, crap. No, the box cutter is still not broken, so if we get into combat with uh, Takashi-san, it doesn't really matter if we're at lethal or not, right? Do we have anything that would kill us? Not nah, just Branded? I mean, Branded could definitely put us down if it wanted to. So I'm trying to think, like... We could, if we have a dexterity check before homeboy, we get desperation off. So I'm not going to take the stamina. Uh, I don't need to take the reason, and there's no point to take the EXP. So I guess we'll just help Koji's mental health, you know? I think that's fine. I think I can't really complain about that. So first of all, unfortunately, Koji, unless you can give this to a dog, uh, you're kind of screwed for the rest of your life. I apologize, but uh, you've already taken a bath. Sorry, one bath a day? Everybody knows this is allowed. So... Unfortunately, we're not going to get set down to desperation before the boss fight. And also, we can't set ourselves down because I don't want to die. So, um, hey, no Heart of Darkness, though. That's kind of nice. We are just going to have to fight the boss normally. So I'm trying to think who our second enemy was. And I'm always bad at this one. I'm always bad at this one. What was it like? I don't remember, like, okay, this is gonna sound insane because I played this game way too long, but I can't put a, a, a face to cult member. Like, that's just such a generic name. I'm going Leech Girl. 
Oh hell yeah, we win these. We win these, chat. Okay. But like I, I I'm I'm not even joking. If you asked me who cult member it's such a generic name, I literally cannot remember who cult member is, and we've apparently fought them in, in this run. Like, I literally cannot put a name to a face. Like, that's not a hunted by the cult enemy, so I don't know. What the hell, man? What the hell? I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, we just do something like that. I'm not even gonna throw the weapon, it's fine. We get hit, it's whatever. It is, look who it is. I mean, yeah, let's just get like 8 million dexterity, like real quick, you know, just for fun. Just get 8 dexterity, we'll pass that check easily. Oh no, with the buzz the gate opens. How sad. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Web Weaver. have a good one. I'll see you on the next episode of It's Look Who It Is. And uh, there will be a Your Box Cutter's Blade Broke. And by that, I mean there will be some more Bear Trap Gaming on the next episode of Gloomwood, which will be out later today. So be sure to peep that. And then on Wednesday, it's Lethal Company. And then on uh, Thursday, it's Lunacid. And then Friday, it's Dark Souls. And then Saturday, it's uh, Rimworld. And then Sunday, it's Little Goody Two Shoes, the return TM. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.